Hi, this is Asing. You are now watching Asing SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to change shape's color on cell value change. Firstly, let's rename all the names of the shapes according to what we label here. To do so, click on the shape, go to the name box, click it, and now type according to what we label. For this case, we should have A. Type A, press enter, press it to the second shape, click on the name box, rename it, and press enter. However, sometimes when we want to change the name it seems like impossible as for this case when I rename as C unfortunately Excel go to column C instead of changing the name for this case we can go to shape format click on selection pane let's rename it here select the respective shape change it and press enter repeat the same for the rest of the shapes after we have done changing the name let's Let's select one of the shapes and press Ctrl A, right click and group them. This is to allow us to move all the shapes at the same time. And now let's go to the developer tab, click on Visual Basic to write the code. We should write the code in this shape, that is shape 1. From the list of objects, select book shape. Instead of using selection change procedure, let's change to change procedure. Delete the unwanted procedure. If needed. In this change procedure, we could make use of foldup to run through all the shapes that we have. I'm going to use a dummy eye starting from 2 and up to row 5 for this case. If you want to use fixed color, we could use select case. By referring to the data that we have, that is on this sheet, which is this book sheet, I'm going to make use of me followed by dot cells to refer to the cells that we need. Since we have to run through all the selected rows, let's make use of the dummy i and the data are presented under column B with column index of 2. Let's fix it, closing parenthesis and now let's assign the case. If the case is for example, less than 2500 and now let's assign the color that we want. I'm going to call the shape first which is me followed by dot shapes dot range opening parenthesis and now it's the time for us to call the name of the shape to do so we need array opening parenthesis the name is placed under different rows of column a therefore we should run through it let's make use of cells opening parenthesis to run through each row make use of the dummy that we created that list i comma since it's always under column a this we should have a column index of one Closing parenthesis to end cells, closing parenthesis to end array, closing parenthesis to end range. And now let's call the field property followed by dot for color. And I'm going to make use of the RGB and we set equal to RGB opening parenthesis. Let's assign the color that we want. For example, I want it to be red in color. So I should put 255 for the red component, comma, 0 for the green component, comma, 0 for the blue component. If you have no idea how should we assign a number for each color component, let's go to home. In the font group, click on the drop down of fill color, click on more colors, pick any desired color and go to custom and bring all these numbers to the VBA editor. After assigning the numbers, let's proceed to the second case. For this case, I will have case is less than 4000 for example. And now, let's assign the color. I'm going to copy this line and paste it here. What we have to do is change the color component accordingly. This time, I would like to have green color. So let's change the green component to 255. If we have more cases, let's proceed to the next case. We should always spell in mind that when we set this condition based on less than cases, the number should be getting bigger and bigger. On the other hand, if you are using more than cases, the number should be getting smaller and smaller. In addition, if this is the last case, we could set it as case else and now 
paste the code, also change the color component according to our preferences. Start with select, of course we have to end select. Finish the first eye, let's proceed to the next eye. And the coding part is now dead. Let's back to worksheet. I'm going to simply change the contain of a cell and see the result. And the shapes change according to our preferences as you can see here. However, let's say I do not want to have a fixed color but using sequential palette. For this case, we need a multiplier. Let's rewrite the code. Firstly, set a dummy be equal to the maximum number among the data. I'm going to make use of worksheet function, the maximum function, opening parenthesis. Let's read the data. I'm going to use range, opening parenthesis, the data from B2 up to B5. Type within quotation marks, since this must be in terms of string. Closing parenthesis to end range, closing parenthesis to end max. And now create another dummy to record the minimum value by using the minimum function for the same range. After we have finished recording the maximum and the minimum values, we can now create for loop by using dummy i. Also start from the second row up to the fifth row. We need a multiplier that is let's standardize the value by using dummy c equal to the current value that is cells opening parenthesis run through every row. We have dummy i comma always under column b closing parenthesis minus the minimum value closing parenthesis then this would be the numerator and now let's divide and move to the denominator that is maximum minus minimum and we can now assign the color for the respective shape but this time instead of having fixed number i'm going to make use of the multiplier let's take c and multiply the red color and now move to the second component if i want the combination of red and green color for the second component i should use one minus c as the complement multiplying 255 that is maximum number of this component. Finish the first eye, proceed to the next, and the coding part is now done. Let's back to spreadsheet to see the result. Simply change one of the cell contained. For example, change this number to 100. Press on enter and we should see the result. And the shapes are filled with color according to sequential palette, as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you. Thank you.